All right. Ready to rock and roll. Quickly do the posting stuff. Boop. And there. And yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oops. Uh, oops, if I... Crap. Let's uh, delete that. Uh, we'll get started in just one moment. Little history. The reason why I, I always chuckle to myself whenever I go, Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been doing that for... Oh, Christ. We're talking almost 15 years now. Um, this goes way back to... Uh, 2006, a little game called Chrome Hounds, the best online multiplayer Xbox Live experience ever in the history of online console gaming. And I just remember there was this one instance where me and my buddies, there was just the four of us going up against an enemy squad where it was all six of them, and we cheesed it up big time. We just went in these fast little mechs that would zip in and shoot the shit out of their base and blow it up in like less than a minute. And we beat these poor bastards like four times in a row doing that. And then one of our guys left, so it was just the three of us, and I was like, dude, we jumped into the same map where we're gonna play the same on the same map, keep to do the same mission, but we were trying to get against AI, but these people showed up a fifth time. And we're just like, you know what, let's just like fight them for real. So we fought them six on three. Um did okay. We killed a couple of them before they finally took us down, but they beat us. And then we got they were they were all from Japan, and we got a shitload of messages. You were very strong. Wow, you were strong squad. It was it was good good battle and this that and the other thing. It was like almost all text. And I got this really nonsensical message from one person, and I just replied. I forget what I replied like thanks or something. But the only voice message we got from them was sent to me directly and there was no way I could have recorded this from back in the day there was no way but he sent me a voice message <laughs> and I will remember it until the day I die um, this person was super duper excited and they sent me this message and it went ah, I am a I am a Japanese gamer and uh, good show thank you oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what did I know that was like what the fuck did I just listen to like it was, I could not I, I was crying from laughing, I'm talking to my buddy, um, who was I with at the time, Mordecus and somebody else. I can't remember who I was talking to, but I was pra I was practically laughing from this fucking voice message, um, because I was like, dude, I have no idea what he said aside from I am a Japanese gamer. That's all I got out of it. But uh, the guy sounded like genuinely super excited and whatnot so it was like holy shit bro props for enthusiasm this is a long ass time ago we're going back oh that's about 14 years so i couldn't have been older than 20 21 at the time jeez anyways <laughs> sorry about the reminiscing uh, i am way late starting tonight i greatly apologize for that um hopefully everybody's doing all right time this is moby's why here time of recording this it is Tuesday, November 3rd. We're back with Stellaris Console Edition. I just released a new Stellaris Console Edition video today, or, well, yesterday, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, regarding the mechanics around the Lost Amoeba event. Oodles of fun. Uh, I took a slightly uh, goofier approach to that video than most of my other mechanics videos, so uh, hopefully people enjoyed it. Um... Yeah, I had some fun making that one. Anyways, um, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. My name is Mobius Y. Uh, if you'd like to see more Stellaris Console Edition content, please subscribe to the channel. I upload at least one stream, uh, one video from my stream every week since I stream Stellaris Console at least once a week, and that tends to be on Tuesdays. Um, I also upload additional videos. If you want to stay up to date on those and you want to see them as soon as they come out, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find a link to my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. It'd be great if more of you came by to interact with me whilst I am live playing. Um, 
You'll also find a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow there. I post important announcements there all the time. Last but not least, you'll find a link to my own personal Discord channel. That's where I have the most viewer engagement. You vote on other games you'd like to see me play on stream beyond Stellaris Console Edition. Um, and it's the best way to interact uh, with with for me with my viewers. So, hey, JB, what's going on, buddy? Uh, we got a small community growing uh, a little bit more every week. We're past 150 members now, I do believe. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, back with the Planet Express, continuing to expand our delivery empire. Uh, we need to annihilate the Prakikiti. Uh, let me take a look, see here. Um, do, do, do. Prakikiti, we are in a truce with them until 2335. So uh, we have 10 years to build up more fleet and then beat the shite out of them. Um, we should do some kind of. Uh, which ascension path should we take? We can't do mind over matter because we don't have psionic theory. Which really, really sucks. Can we even get it? We're materialists, so the odds of us getting it are lower. But we, we still can. It's still entirely possible. Robots, bender units. Yeah, that's a good point. Um... Yeah, I'll probably just do the flesh is weak and then do uh, synthetic ascension. But engineered evolution would be kind of fun because then we can gene tailor our um, friends, quote unquote, on these other planets. Which planet is revolting? Uh, nope, not Earth. This planet has extremely low stability because uh, I'm guessing a lot of pops are very unhappy right now. Uh, yeah, the Prakigiti, or the Preki, I should say. Uh, biological is my personal fave. That's good to know, JV. Um, you know, it's always good to, for people to have favorites. Um, I like them all in their own little way. All these preaky pops, they are not happy. Not even close. Um, do, do, do. Let's, hmm. What can we do about this? We're building some commercial zones? Why are we building commercial zones? Oh, yeah, we need amenities. Holy shit, we need amenities. Um, so why am I building commercial zones? I don't want commercial zones. Uh, we need to replace that with, uh, what is it? Hollow theaters, which is not a good idea because, um, our consumer goods are already in the negative, but it's the most effective way to crank up, uh, some amenities production in all honesty. And then we're going to build some city districts. Let's just build all five. Psionic I have spent the least time using. It's actually pretty cool, JB. Being able to breach the shroud and stuff like that and getting the unique benefits uh, is actually really cool. Uh, here's the other thing we could do. We can negotiate with crime lords, which will increase crime, but it will increase stability, which is uh, not a bad option. Uh, Anti-crime campaign uh, doesn't really do much. It, it just causes our enforcers to require more upkeep. So, declare martial law. Yeah. Each soldier would provide stability, though. How many soldier jobs do we have? Zero. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and negotiate with crime lords. That's not a bad pick. And we will encourage planetary growth. Good evening, gentle folk. Hey, Dazzer, haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Thanks for coming by. I need to get caught up on what the hell's going on with our empire, really. Uh, hollow theaters, not looking so good. Low on amenities. Um, got two workers that are out of jobs. So let's go ahead and do a research lab. How is it we are out of amenities? Seriously. We got six clerks. Um... There's only 37 pops here. And we have six clerks producing 12 amenities plus... Where are the entertainers? Uh, not entertainers. Uh, another 20, so that's 32. We should be producing enough right now, but... Mm, okay, whatever. Um, there's not much we can do here, is there? Let's uh, Screw it. I'll just build another hollow theater. This is really not a good idea. I just need to sit down and actually do a spiritualist empire. Yeah, that might be a good idea. 
you don't have to do spiritualist uh, anymore to get um, what's it called to get um, psionics to get psionic theory there's ways around it um, okay let's recruit a new leader do we have damn do we have not shit options I don't think so <laughs> Um, okay, let's go ahead and just... These options are awful. True, but that's ingrained in my brain. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, it still is in mine where it's like, oh, if I want to go psionics, I have to play as spiritualist. You don't have to anymore. It just drastically increases the odds that you get. Um, what's it called? The thing. Uh, psionic theory. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Can we get... Oh, damn it. I was hoping for somebody that would increase stability or decrease crime or something. Hi, bud. Not in the mood for sleep. Yep. Sleep is for the weak. Yep. Flesh and sleep are are very similar. They're both for the weak. Alright, let's uh, take a look at our military um, fleets. Where the hell is everybody? We've got our fleet of 15 battleships over here. They're chilling. And then we've got our fleet of 14 cruisers. They're over here chilling. They're ready to attack, though. First chance we get, we can move into Birim, which is where their capital is. Taking that out would really solve all of our problems. So let's get the fourth fleet to move up to here. And where is the transport fleet? These guys invaded over here, so let's get them to move this way. I've been awake for days. I mean, you have kids, right? So there's that. <laughs> um, let's see. We cannot reinforce. Really? We can't reinforce? What? Why not? Alright, battleships. Do I need to upgrade these guys at all? Oh, holy crap. He's got these advanced shields online, baby. Plast steel armor. We'll leave that. Um, yeah, we're going to keep the auxiliary fire control. I like the increased chance to hit. That's always awesome. Crystal infused plating. That, like, that's not bad. That's pretty damn good. I want to go with that. Uh, let's save that. And then this guy. Upgrade you with advanced shields as well. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. And this guy, you guys, also need to go get upgraded. And you know what? It's probably because there is... Um, there's probably a cruiser somewhere just by itself that's moving to rally. That's probably what it is. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I don't think so. Back here. No, I don't see one. Well, that's odd. Alrighty then. Uh, let's unpause the game. Jeez, let's get going. Yeah, <laughs> valid point, I know. Um, okay, so they only have their capital world left. And if we take that out, we should be kosher. What do we have for armies? Research concluded. Let's take a look-see. Transport clone armies up the yin-yang. Okay, so think that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a bunch more clone armies just to be on the safe side. Um, not very good options here. Interstellar expansion is... Uh, there's a limit to that, so it might be handy. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll start with that. Starbase capacity. Don't really need it right now, but whatever. Um, let's see. Why don't we go ahead... Gene seed purification. Hmm... Just getting some life until we go back into lockdown here on Thursday. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I do apologize for starting the stream late tonight, uh, but I will still be going for a full two hours in this particular chapter. Uh, what did I need to do? Shoot. Uh, I need to go to fleets and... Uh, what's the dealio with this? Why can't I... Mm, whatever. I'll just let them run. They need to go back and um, do the thing. Uh, can I build a Titan? Uh, Soul Station. Yep, there's the Titan shipyards. And, ooh, hey, a Pegasus-class Titan. I like the look of that. Let's double-check ship designer. 
Pegasus Glass Titan. You've got your Perdition Beam. Boop, 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 boop. Well, everything looks pretty good. Why didn't these auto-upgrade? There we go. All right. We've got a Quantum Destabilizer to reduce enemy ship fire rate. That's always super useful. There we go. All right, let's go Research ahead concluded. and queue up construction of our first Titan. Actually, we can build two. Oops, why did I do that? All right, we can build two. We had enough for it, so we're good. Project concluded. Improved destroyer hulls. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab Ed improved Titan hulls. Definitely want that. All right, construction project concluded. What happened here in Rixim, I wonder? Uh, I guess they got some got, uh, platforms or something. I don't know. Let's build two more. And can't upgrade. I just spent too much. Uh, let's sell these. Wow. Minerals were worth a lot right there. And then we can spend a shite load. There we go. I need to buy a bunch of consumer goods, which I'm not a fan of. Uh oh. Yeah. Excuse me, big sneeze. Mm. Sorry about that. Um, not a fan of buying consumer goods, complete. but I kind of have to right now. Uh, until the situation improves. Jeez. What did these guys do to these planets? I mean, seriously. They got absolutely ravaged. Australia. Penal colony, hey? Uh, minus eight amenities. Okay, seems legit. Uh, can we build hollow theaters? Yes. Not that I want to. And then we'll do civilian industries and civilian industries. Hey, little red team. What's going on, buddy? Thanks for coming by. Gilded Cage. Ooh, now has the expertise Voidcraft. Ooh, cool. Excuse me. Ugh. Gross. All right. Uh, let's see here. Technicians. I don't need to remove technicians. I don't need, really need farmers right now, so let's get those clerks up. Um, I have room for eight more districts here? Are you cereal? Oh, man. All right, well, let's go ahead and do two things of mining districts, two things of agriculture, and the rest can be city districts. Whatever. Sure. Sure. Construction project concluded. All right, it's Rick Sim. You've finished building some things. Uh, go ahead and upgrade your platforms. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Can I upgrade the station? Yes. Alright, so... Fleet I don't know how I'm going to do supplied. this. We have, we have all these terrible... Terrible, terrible, terrible economy problems. We're losing gas. We're losing a butt-ton of energy, Fleet too. Uh, now that I think about it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Entertainers turn consumer goods into unity and amenities. That's not what we Fleet want. That's a bad idea. I need to reset. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Resettle. I need to resettle some pops. Uh, this is a mining colony. It looks Fleet like. So enhancement I can use, ooh, not a chemical plant, you dingling. I need um, civilian industries. We'll do both of those. Some jobs there. System Here, we already have a bunch of alloys. Paradise Dome, can we construct that? Uh, yeah, plus 12 crystals, I'll say we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And no more districts available. Ooh, that's terrible. Uh, let's go not Earth. Uh, way low on housing here. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and replace these agriculture districts. Don't really need them. Still making food. Those unwilling to defend themselves have no right to exist. We do not expect the Planet Express to survive the decade. Oh, really? You talking shit? You'll get what's coming for you. You'll get what's coming to you, you sons of bitches. Don't you worry. Alright, so... 
alloys are going to take a hit. Uh, what I need to do is... Let's crank up our technicians and reduce our miners on this world for now. There. That ought to do it. So we can put those up. We don't need so many clerks there just yet. So we're good. Would you recommend me getting into that game? The only strange game I pl the only strategy game I played is Halo Wars. Um If you're willing to learn it, like it's a very difficult game to just jump into and pick up quickly. It I'm not going to lie. It's very difficult. Uh, but there's lots of people who put out content to try and help uh, people learn the game uh, from like the basic portions of it, the very basic stages of it to you know advanced mechanics and whatnot. So the, the resources are there to learn the game if you're interested. Uh, but it's not an easy game. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's a lot. Like once, once you get the hang of... Uh, things like all your resources and whatnot, and you understand what things do and how things interact with each other, like the fact that you need to get minerals in order to create consumer goods and alloys and various other things, blah, blah, blah. Little things like that. Once you pick up on those and understand those, it actually becomes significantly easier and significantly more fun. The other thing, too, is unlike me, if you actually stop to read the... Um, the flavor text from things like events and whatnot. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. You discover some pretty cool stuff in this game. Uh, we have nine unemployed pops here. Holy. Rising unemployment on similarly not Earth. We have six unemployed pops here. Oh, man. No. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Halo, it's a great game, but go to Moby's YouTube. He's got loads of tips. Well, I appreciate that, Dazzer. I, I honestly don't recommend it myself as the first go-to person to check stuff out, but I do have some stuff. Um, so we're going to colonize Sirius 3. We need a new we need a new colony, like now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. Human. Um, Construction definitely project not Earth. Concluded. So a pet peeve of mine is when I constantly see words spelled the wrong way, the same wrong way repeatedly, and definitely is one of those things that I see all the goddamn time that's spelled wrong. There's only two I's and two E's. If you want to see how it's spelled correctly, it's right there on screen. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Okay, so uh, another fun fact that actually happened er for me earlier, um, part of the reason I'm a little late, is in the lower right there you see all those numbers and whatnot in the very bottom right uh underneath the settings section where it says v Guin version 2.2.7.047035 that is the version of stellaris that console edition is on to the right of that is r 2.0.0.3 now that is the actual version that console is on uh, for Xbox, anyways. For P for PlayStation, it should be on 2.0.3. If you go to your settings and check this out, you should be on 2.0.0.3 if you're on Xbox, and 2.0.3 if you're on PS4. If you're still on 2.0.0.1 on Xbox or 2.0.1 on PS4, there is an issue. See if you can get a hold of Paradox, like, ASAP. I only just got this fixed, like... We just got a stability patch back in August uh, that updated us to this current version, uh, zero, uh, two, 2003. I only just got it. Um, I had to contact the folks I, that I know at Paradox, and I was like, hey, I, so like, I'm still on the old version. This is going over two months now, and I've tried everything I know to fix it. So they were like, oh, uh, we'll, we'll look into that right away and they actually got on it pretty quick and I'm super duper thankful that they fixed that for me because it's been really bothering me that uh, I was on the older version because the um, the fixes that come with that patch are actually pretty awesome so in theory I should be able to oh hang on can I go this way there we go there see now I can do this okay 
If you look at any of my older videos, if I looked at an enemy fleet, like so, okay, all I could see was this command screen. There were no other tabs, and it was pissing me off how many times I kept going, am I missing something I don't have the option to look at other enemy ships? And people were constantly spouting the same bullshit that I already knew. Oh, you just look at their fleet and you go to the other tab. You just go to the other tab. You go to the fleet tab and then you look at the ships. And it's like, I already fucking knew that. It did that before we got the 2.2.7 upgrade. When we, got when we got our version of Stellaris updated. It hasn't been like that for me pretty much since then. Which it wasn't. And I'm pretty sure that part of the stability patch was to fix that issue, because some people were experiencing that. But now it's not an issue anymore. And it was pissing me off because I didn't have this feature, because some people got the update and some people didn't. So we can actually look, I can actually look at enemy loadouts now and be like, oh, hey, these are the kind of weapons that they're using. Um, so this guy's actually got a pretty balanced uh, setup with auto cannons, which I knew, and plasma cannons. Uh, so, auto cannons do some bonus hull damage and 50% bonus shield damage, but the plasma does 50% bonus hull and 100% bonus armor. So, uh, in reality, the thing I'd probably, I would probably want to do is just go heavy shields with defenses. But I'm going fairly balanced, so that's fine. I'm, I'm so thankful that this is actually fixed for me now. Well, I only understand... Who has time for that when there's Xenos to purge? Exactly, JB, exactly. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in, in the game, uh, Halo Red Team. Um, one of the interesting things that once once you get a better grasp on the game, it opens up nearly infinite customization options. Um, these governing ethics, you can select these however you want. We are there's there's eight options to pick from unless you choose what's called a Gestalt Consciousness, which is like a hive mind. Um, you can pick your civics, which apply to your whole empire. You can customize your starting species uh, with various traits that can give them different bonuses. For example, um, as humans, we are adaptive, so we have a bonus to habitability. We're nomadic, so there's a bonus to, to pop growth from immigration. Uh, we're quick, quick learners, so our leaders level up faster, etc., etc., etc. So we, you can get some pretty cool bonuses from your traits, from your civics, etc., etc. And you customize all sorts of things with it. With the, the way your species looks, for example. Uh, like, this human portrait, I picked that one. This this pricky, or preaky portrait, that's an option. You can use that one. These robot portraits, they're available with the correct DLC. Uh, you can make your species look like however it is. Um, like, it, it's just really cool. The customization is nearly endless. And, uh, it's one of the things that, in the, in the words of the great Aziz Fagrinejad, it's one of the things that makes Stellaris replayable. <laughs> uh, I miss Dale and Aziz a little bit. I really do. It was fun watching them stream. Um, okay, also not Earth. Generator world, we need to upgrade the planetary capital. I'm trying to make this a research world... I mean, it's good on amenities, so I don't need to... Yeah, it already has two hollow theaters. So, yeah, let's do some uh, research labs. Oh, no, they turn... They do consumer goods. Oops. So, let's do some more civilian industries. Dazzer, well, I only understand the game because of your tutorials. Well, I, I appreciate that. I do try, like... I don't really recommend my own stuff because I don't really shamelessly plug my own crap. Plus, I'm a little too humble about it, I think. Um... But I do, like, I still have, my intention is still to, you know, teach people how to play the damn game. If I'm not doing that when I make the videos, then I'm not really doing a very good job, you know? Um, let's see. Where is this construction ship? Oh, he's just floating right there. Okay, let's get him to go here. And I'm going to build a star base here in Mythar. We've got a size 16 alpine world with a lot of mineral districts. I could really use that. Um, okay, so we're kind of okay on, on amenities here on this world. Kind of. Not really. Uh, I'll do another city district because we need housing. Moby is one of us. Yeah, it took a while. That's all good. I played Age, Age of Empires on the computer. Um, now, Age of Empires, that's a game... I mean, I played Age of Empires when I was, like, super young. And I, I only tried it once or twice because 
I didn't have it myself, but I just could not get into it. Call me crazy. I think I tried it when I was in like my StarCraft system phase at the time. Concluded. All right, so that system is surveyed. Very good. Um, Halo Red, I, I, I can't stop creating empires. That's how many options there are. <laughs> yeah. I have no shame. It's fine. What? <laughs> okay, so uh, let me know in chat. Um, we have choices here. I remember playing a uh, Age of Empires in grade school. Yeah, that's a ways back, JB. Okay, so um, in the in the game, Halo Red Team. Just uh, just a heads up. There's something you can do in the game when you're playing as a regular organic empire. Uh, there's these things called ascension paths. Um, so I'm in the screen for these ascension perks, and there's ultimately three ascension paths. One of them is locked to us because I don't have the right technology, unfortunately. But we could do the in you know if you play your cards right, you can do what's called the psionic ascension path, where your um, your species develops telepathy uh, amongst concluded. themselves, and you get some special. Uh, telepathic um, technologies and like a uh, special kind of army or something that actually uses their telepathy to attack enemies with and stuff like that. Why is my phone beeping at me now? I don't want to text at this time. Um, so that's one thing. And once you complete the psionic ascension, your species becomes full telepaths. Uh, they no longer really speak in words. They pretty much do it all telepathically. You get unique telepathic technologies by doing something called Breaching the Shroud, which is where um, a collection of some of your empire's most powerful telepaths reaches into the void beyond our dimension and basically talks to gods, for lack of a better term. They talk to gods, and certain events can happen when they breach the shroud which gives them really powerful and really unique psionic technologies so that's one of the things you can do the two other ascension paths that we have available is i can pick this one which is called the flesh is weak this starts the synthetic ascension path where this first bit um it starts the process of turning your main organic species uh, into cyborgs they develop the ability to implant themselves with cybernetic technology uh, to enhance their uh, to enhance their physical capabilities and whatnot. And you get a lot of bonuses for doing that when they're all cyborgs, so that's something cool. Complete. And then to complete the uh, synthetic uh, ascension path, you take synthetic evolution, which gives you another project uh, throughout your empire to um, upload all of your um, all of your empires, or sorry, all, your entire population's consciousnesses into or uh, into synthetic robot bodies so they eventually are able to live forever basically and you get massive bonuses with synthetic ascension from doing that but when they're robots it's super powerful we're going to terraform this into a continental world so right now uh, it's an alpine world uh, which is a cold kind of climate um and it's dropping our habitability of our humans down to 50 percent i could colonize it with a robot I suppose, but I do want some regular humans working on this world and living on this world. Um, so with the low habitability, that actually reduces the productivity of the population on this planet. So we're going to terraform the world from a, a cold climate, which is an alpine world. We're going to terraform it into a wet climate, uh, a continental world. So you have three types of climates. You have tundra, arctic, and... Um, Alpine are cold or frozen climates as they're called in the game and then you have savanna arid and uh, Desert which are dry climates and then for wet climates you have tropical ocean and continental worlds um, So depending on your own species preference whether they pref whether their home world they evolved on a continental world or a desert world or an arctic world that determines which other worlds in the galaxy are viable for them to colonize and maximize their productivity and if you find a good world that it's like i'd like to colonize this but eh, it's not the right kind of climate but for example this is an alpine world we could colonize it but the habitability will reduce um 
their effectiveness, their productivity on this world. So we can actually terraform it. Once we can get the right technologies, you can actually terraform it into a different climate. And we're going to terraform it into a continental world. Uh, let me go ahead and activate terraforming gases. Where is it? There it is. Boom. There we go. Okay, good. Um, we are only negative three on consumer goods now. That's excellent. That's what I want to see. Um, so I was talking about Ascension Path. I kind of interrupted myself. So yeah, synthetic evolution. First your species become cyborgs. And then your species, they become robots, basically. And they become immortal. They get bonuses to production. Now the other ascension path is the biological ascension path or genetic ascension path where this first bit here uh, you get a special technology called gene seed purification which gives you really powerful gene warrior armies and you get the ability to further genetically modify uh, your main species as well as other species within your empire if you have uh, species from other empires living within your empire on your worlds uh, so this gives you some more modification points in order to gene, uh, to genetically tailor uh, your species. And then evolutionary mastery completes the biological or genetic um, ascension path. Uh, you get a special tech research option called genetic resequencing, where you are able to specifically tailor uh, entire species on individual colonies to to maximize, like the, you, you tailor them exactly how you want them. You can remove all the traits that they currently have, whether they're positive or negative, and you can customize them with a different set of traits to maximize their productivity on that one colony. And you also get special uh, species traits that are only available when you complete the biological ascension path. Like you can get a certain trait uh, that makes them like even smarter than what they were previously instead of the intelligent trait you get the erudite trait which further boosts their production in say research for example so you get, you get options it's pretty cool so we're going to do the we're going to do the synthetic ascension path because it's super duper powerful uh, we now possess both the technology to make advanced cybernetic implants and the means to mass produce them medical centers throughout the planet express are standing by to begin the surgical grafting process on our citizens in the future possessing neural implants and at least a rudimentary level of cybernetics will be necessary to function in the technological society we are building consequently the conversion process to install a basic cybernetic suite will be mandatory and free of cost to all of our citizens we must embrace this technology. Um, now, I probably should have checked if there's a spiritualist fallen empire first. Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Fallen empires. Boop, boop, boop. There they are. Keepers of knowledge. Oh, they are materialist. That's fine. They will not be happy when we become robots. And then there's biological, basically micromanagement simulator. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to complete synthetic ascension. Oh wait, we have to uh, we have to complete the flesh's weak special project, right? Uh, where is it? Submerged cruiser. I don't care about that. Da, 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 da. Where is it? The flesh is weak. Completes in 173 months. Oh my gosh! I got the game and all of its DLC, and I tried to play a game, but got bored. Um, that's very understandable. Um, your first game, it can very well be like, I don't know what's going on, I'm not following this, this is boring. I can totally, totally understand that. Um, so we're not going to do that just yet. Damn, that sucks. Maybe I jumped the gun by doing that. Let's investigate these aliens just for fun. Uh, and then we're going to investigate this moon. Then we're going to investigate this ice alien. And that's it for now. Jeez. Dispatcher Jamie Morin was elected on a platform to bring our monthly consumer goods surplus up to at least plus six per month. Uh, we will get plus a thousand unity if we complete that. Okay. Um, the one complaint that I will have, um, I mean, especially in the older version, there is a fair bit of waiting that goes on in this game. Um, especially in the early, early, early portions. Until until you, like, get a real solid grasp of what you need to do uh, in your earliest, in the earliest years of your empire's uh, expansion and whatnot, uh, it can get pretty Special boring. But so long as you're... 
Uh, so long as you're expanding as quickly as possible, trying to find new colonies and whatnot, uh, ASAP, uh, it can keep you pretty busy. Which is quite good. Okay, let's see if there's any systems that our construction ship can go to to build some mining stations and get us some more energy. There's one right there. Mining stations. And... We've got a couple more systems back here where we can construct some star bases, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, what the... Why do I have to deselect that? I hate that. It's really annoying. Um, where is he? This guy? Where's this guy? You're over here. So let's get this guy to start building some of these star bases. I want to get uh, Ishnor into our uh, Empire's Fold so that I can construct a mining station around this asteroid. And that will be another source of dark matter. Dark matter is good. Push through, man. Push through. Once you get the concept, it gets better. Yes, very true. I find... Uh, I feel like the game, when, when, you're, when you're just getting the hang of things, uh, I think the discovery of the new events and stuff like that, I think that's like the best part. Fleet and uh, supply of the game is when it's like okay I kind of understand how to not have my economy totally go to shit and manage my empire a little bit and uh, maintain resources etc 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 and then it's like okay well let's what do these different uh, what do these different events do uh, throughout the galaxy let's see what those do I'm gonna replace these uh, civilian industries with alloy foundries and where is do I have a ministry of production available no I do not damn that would have been really handy. So uh, I'm going to get rid of the consumer good, um, consumer goods um, buildings that are on this planet because I want to make this an alloys planet. Special Soul project. Station, how are you doing with the Titans? They're almost done. Dope. So two Titans of the same design is not really good. Uh, you pretty much... Oh my god, we got another source of dark matter. Holy shit. That's awesome. Um, whenever you get more than one Titan available, uh, until you can have like six Titans, you want to design a new kind of Titan because I'm doing something dumb. I'm using the same... Uh, like you want to stack these little aura effects. Um, so I want one to reduce enemy ship fire rate and ideally I would have done the shield damper to reduce, uh, or sorry, subspace snare would be even better, to reduce combat disengagement chance. That would reduce the likelihood that they escape. That's what I would prefer. Okay, so, uh, we've got our two titans. They automatically attach themselves to our fleet of cruisers. I'm going to change that because I want one titan with each fleet. All right, cruisers, uh, I need you to... Uh, transfer ships, boop, and we're going to take one of these Pegasus-class Titans. Oops, nope, that's the wrong button, Moby. Get your shit together. There we go. Now we confirm. Okay, now this guy goes with this guy, and they merge. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to rename these fleets now because I want them easier to identify. So I'm going to rename this fleet. This is the fleet of battleships. These guys are the battlers. There we go. So now I know that that's my fleet of battleships. It'll be a lot easier to find them and identify them. And then this fleet of the cruisers. They are the cruisers. <laughs> very, very unique naming, I know. All right, so we're going to do a defense grid supercomputer here. To increase the number of defense platforms we can have at that Special star base. Concluded. Azizians! What? We have successfully cloned a healthy population of gargantuan slugs from the, far, from the fossilized D DNA. They reached maturity within weeks, weighing up to 20 tons, and have developed a primitive level of sapience responding to simple one-syllable commands. Though they have yet to show any violent tendencies, they produce a thick toxic mucus when vexed and their hue seems to shift with their mood. The research team has named them Azizians for the hissing sounds with which they communicate among themselves. <laughs> they will make excellent laborers. They belong in a zoo. We could use them in the army. Who would, want, who would not want an army of murderous slugs with which to crush their enemies? <laughs> they are horrendous. Dispose of them now. 
Random delivery service planet gets isolated valleys. Um, okay. Or we can get a pop. Uh, let's use them in armies. I like the sound of that even better. And speaking of armies, we need to create some armies. Uh, clone armies, as a matter of fact. Azizian army, huh. Let's see. Uh, they have... Let's compare them to a clone army. A human clone army. So a human clone army... 2.10 to 4.2 damage or morale damage. 200 health, 230 morale. The Azizian army... 6.3 to 1260 damage, 1260 to 25.2 morale damage, holy shit, 1,000 health and 460 morale. Okay, yeah, I'm going to build a couple of these. <laughs> Let's build two of them here on another not Earth, and then on Earth, we're going to do uh, a few clone armies. Actually, I can do a lot more than that. Three, four, five, six, and then we'll go here uh, for human clone armies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then here for some more human clone armies. There we go. Australia, I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, also not Earth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And nope, not Earth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. So all the armies should finish simultaneously. Eat them. Don't eat them. <laughs> you, yeah, your first reaction when you saw that was, Eat them! And then you, and then you saw the part about... The toxic mucus, and you're like, don't eat them! <laughs> uh, exotic gases as fuel? Eh, let's leave that alone for now. Focusing crystals edict. We'll also leave that alone. Those are special edicts to uh, that I enacted for when we were at war. They came in handy, now that I think about it. Um, let's take a look-see here. Why can the cruisers be upgraded? The Pioran civilization encountered. Very good, very nice. Cruisers, you can be... One ship can be upgraded. Okay. Why? The PX... Oh, oh, whatever. I watched your first game video and it did not give me much hope. <laughs> Fleet enhancement supplied. I do... Uh... I haven't, I've been kind of procrastinating on doing it, but I need to go back and redo the really old videos where I talked about each individual resource, what you use them for, how you get them, and how they apply uh, throughout your empire. I do need to redo those. Um, let's see. Okay, so I've got 10 unemployed workers there. Unbelievable. Uh, Kaijmi civilization encountered. Don't care. Unemployment there. Unemployment there. Australia, you have a lot of jobs available. Uh, let's go ahead and resettle everybody from Earth to Australia. Okay, where are they? Uh, unemployed, looking for unemployed workers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be all of them. Okay, now Australia has some unemployed pops, but not for long. Look at that. Employment. Applied, and now we can build some more civilian industries. I'm probably going to go a little ham on these civilian industries to the point where it's ridiculous, but whatever. Is that illegal? Oh no, that's cottaging, not cruising. <laughs> Toxic mucus tastes bad. Great band name, Toxic Mucus. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Introducing the best preaky metal band this side of the galaxy Toxic Mucus! The healthcare campaign edict affecting our empire has expired. I'm not going to re-up it. I'd really like to, but this time, no. Uh, capacity overload. Let's activate that. Uh, research grants. Encourage diplomatic grants. Nah. Where's the one where it's not map the stars? There should be one with that... Um... Damn. Damn. I could have sworn that there was one which increased our research speed. Maybe it's a materialist thing. Uh, pop consumer goods upkeep is reduced. Oh, hey, we have uh, ambitions that we can use. I forgot about that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba, monthly minerals. Opening ethics attraction. Don't care about that. Starbase upgrade speed. Blah. Uh, scientific revolution. Blah. <laughs> First song, Don't Bite Me. <laughs> 
Don't bite me! <laughs> I just spilled water on myself. Shit. <laughs> That looks like I peed myself. Great. I keep pausing the timer. Please remind me to stop pausing the timer. I want time to get uh, far enough ahead to where we can declare war against these prickiki tea bastards. Okay, also not Earth could use some uh, additional labor. So let's go ahead and reopen those guys. Similarly not Earth, you have exactly seven pops. Okay, also... Oh, wait. Is it also not Earth? Yes, it is. Okay, so... Uh, one, two, three, Building four, five... Ruined. Oops. Ah! I did not mean to hit the A button. Whoops! Paradise Dome ruined. Whoops. Well, I done gone fuck that up. Uh, let's go ahead and resettle the pop back. <laughs> um, where did they come from? Similarly not Earth. Yes, right. Also not Earth. Ah, these, these names are really retarded in their fucking me up. Okay, similarly not Earth. Let's go ahead and just move. We'll just move a robot. There we go. Uh, similarly not Earth. Can you be... No, you can't. Why can't... Why do I have, like, no housing here? This is, re this is really dumb. Okay, we're gonna demolish that one. There we go. And actually, we'll, uh... Hang on. We'll get rid of that. Demolish that. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Don't care. Uh, replace, and we could really use um, more alloy foundries, honestly. But we need some exotic gas refineries because old foes. Through the clandestine procurement of some of the primitives remains, science officer Maria McCad has made an intriguing discovery. The aliens on Goliath. Three and four are in fact recently diverged species with the same origin. By scanning the ruins left behind on both planets, the PX Goddard crew has concluded that both species originated on Gulia 4, where they flourished into an early space age civilization. Sometime after colonizing Gulia 3, their society fractured and an interplanetary nuclear war broke out between the new colony and its home planet. In the ensuing cataclysm, both planets were ravaged by fallout and the nuclear winter that followed on its heels, plunging their inhabitants back into the Bronze Age. Unfortunate. <laughs> you guys are making these goofy ass faces. Project concluded. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like uh, our armies have completed recruitment. So we are going to select all of these transport fleets. Boop, 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 And we'll tell them to merge. There we go. And they should all be going to merge with transport fleet one, which is still in the Vite system for some reason, but that's okay. Okay, let's have a look see. How is this faring? Oh, that's because this is a trade station. Hmm, okay. And this one is also a trade station, isn't it? Oh, it's an anchorage. Okay. That's different. Okay, um... <laughs> metal. You're so metal. Um, let's see. What do I need to do? Definitely not Earth. I need you to get colonized faster, please. Uh, also not Earth. Let's give you another civilian industries. Unfortunately, uh... Yeah, I don't... I need more hollow theaters on some planets, I think. Let's see. Entertainers, you guys are creating 20 amenities, so I don't really need you then. Let's go ahead and replace you with another alloy foundry, eh? Hey? Um. Hmm. Military Academy Research Institute. Blah, 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 blah. I can use a fortress world somewhere to improve our naval capacity. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think for now just some alloy foundries would be super handy. Got enough clerks on that planet. Clerks are very inefficient. Um, I don't like them. 
I don't like resorting to using them. I really, really don't. Uh, but once you... So fucking metal! <laughs> In order to make our next album, we were going to... We were going to record it under the ocean, but not just any part of the ocean, the most brutal part of the ocean, the Mariana's Trench. <laughs> oh man, that, that's been like a bajillion years since I've seen that. Um, like, never mind that show, but that entire fucking uh, episode too. What's that show again? Metalocalypse? Yeah. Why aren't these automatically upgrading? Uh, frustrating. All right, there we go. And then this guy, let's auto upgrade. Ion cannon core, you have a perdition beam. And you're gonna take some plasteel armor and some hyper shields. There we go. And then sapient combat computer and tachyon sensors. Very good, all right. Done. Catapult ion cannon ready for service. Alright. Let's check out our other designs. Why don't these guys have hyper shields? Construction Why don't these guys have hyper shields? Why don't these guys have hyper shields? This is bullshit. There we go. Battleships next. I have to upgrade all of these ships, aren't I? Yep. These guys. Do do do. Hyper shields. For the hyperactive ADHD player. No, I am not referring to myself. Oh, I could be. <laughs> Alright, I'll pause. Keep the game going, Moby. Alright, do these guys need upgrades? Yes, you do. And you guys need upgrades. Alright. The Mariana's Trench. <laughs> I have all the seasons and albums. Love that show. Um, I don't have all the albums, but there was a few times where I'd be uh, headbanging to um, uh, Deathlock songs here and there. I pretty much just listened to the stuff from uh, from YouTube. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and research... The anomaly. We want to do that. Uh, we're still negative on energy, though. Ugh, not good. Definitely not Earth. This could be a food world. I don't want it to be a food world. Australia, what a terrible planet. Ugh. Do you folks like coffee? <laughs> You know what? When I read that, uh, the thing that popped in my head is I heard it in the voice of the guy at the BlizzCon that said, Don't you guys have phones? <laughs> okay, so we're going to demolish these mining districts because I don't like them. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm not even using them right now. So demolish, demolish, build two more city districts. Okay. And nope, not Earth. You have lots of room for complete. workers. So not Earth. You can complete. resettle to... Oops. Coprolite asteroid. Cool. Supplied. Resettle to nope, not Earth. You got ten pops. Let's do it. Oh, I can't. Shit. Fleet enhancement supplied. And construction complete. Where did this guy build? Oh, he built that. And go build over here now. And this soul station all done. Very good. Cool. Duncan Hills. Ah. Duncan Hills? Uh, that sounds like a donut chain. Research concluded. <laughs> Anomaly. Alright. Uh, research that. So we're okay on consumer goods now, but the problem is uh, at this point energy credits. So let's do that. And then we're going to do an energy grid on this planet. Uh, we have 6,000 minerals, not a lot. I uh, got a lot of food, though. Gonna sell that. There we go. And we have a thousand rare crystals. We'll sell all that. Very good. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't want jump drives. That will bring on the unbidden. I'm kind of sick of facing the, facing the unbidden. They've been in my last three Iron Man games that I've played in the last couple months. 
Um, gateway construction would be pretty dope, but we're going to go with Archimeters. Uh, I prefer weapons. All the mega structures that I can't even afford to build right now anyways. I need a cup of tea. Coffee company from episode one. Ah. I really only saw like two episodes of Metalocalypse. Uh, the one was the one. Uh, one of them was the one where they they sing that song that brings back that demon and it fucking kills everybody at the concert. Awaken, 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 awaken! Take the land that must be taken. <laughs> and then the other one was the one where they go underwater. They make their new album in the Mariana's Trench. <laughs> With the civilian industries here. Research concluded. Construction Mastery project. Nature. I need to concluded. go through all of our old planets and activate mastery of nature wherever I need to. Do 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 and nope, not here. Okay, because that's a penal colony, so that's why there's an extra option. And I've done it everywhere. Dope. Muster crackers muster. Muster crackers muster. Muster crackers muster. <laughs> The Elk Cluster beckons. Our spies report the Minbari Federation is close to possessing enough information about the Elk Gates to unlock the one they control. This would give them access to the Elk Cluster and its secrets. If we are to get there first, we must double our efforts and find more insights to the Elk Gates. We shall see who gets there first. Okay, we might just power through this and research the Elk Gate insights that we need. Uh, we have five out of seven, and getting that... Getting in that alert means that they also have five out of seven, so we need to pick up the pace. None of these other research projects I give a crap about, so we'll just go ahead with this. All right, here we go. And, ooh, hey, wow, sweet. Three deposits with six minerals each. I like that. About halfway through tonight's stream already. System survey concluded. I should be able to build a few more ships for both of our fleets. Um, ooh, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can. Sweet. Uh, how much will this cost? Sixty-three hundred alloys. That's just that's perfect. Works for me. Reinforce all. Two fleets will be reinforced with six ships. Why? I don't want that. Uh, oh, that's why. Pfft. No, I don't want you to have two titans in your fleet. Get out of here. Construction One fleet reinforced concluded. with five ships for 6392. That's what I want to see. And then you can build a mine. Whoa, 14 concluded. energy from this one star. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I'll take it. Okay, I'm not worrying too much about pop growth because I have nowhere to put the pops just yet. Initial colonization phase. Let's take a look completes. at Binder. That's a size 13 arid world. Yeah. Alpine world, size 12, size 10, size 11. I should take a look at these actual planets, though. Look at their... Di Whoa, hello! Planet modifiers, low gravity, minus 10% building cost. I like all these mining districts here. That's pretty awesome. I should probably look for a planet with a lot of energy district or er, generator districts, though, because energy is a major problem right now. Planet modifiers, tidal locked, minus 30% districts. That's terrible. Um, let's check out this one here in Rixim. Rixim 3A. Ooh, there's a lot of generator districts. I like that. Um, what is the habitability? 50% for humans. Damn. Let's go ahead and colonize it with our Construction robots. Project concluded. These guys. Um, hey, it's not Earth. That is the name of our new planet. There we go. Boop. Okay, this guy's finished his construction over there. All right, we're going to start slowly bringing our energy back into the green. It's going to take a while. It's going to mean I'm going to not be building new um, stations and whatnot. 
because I need to focus on maximizing energy output. Uh, in order to do that, I have to minimize uh, expenses. So, we'll take this construction ship, get that source of dark matter going. Um, that should be every source of dark matter in our space is being uh, is being utilized. Yeah, so we've got plus three so far. Uh, where is the other one? It should be... Is it in Seoul or is it in Siplim? I can't remember. No, it's not in Siplim. That's what I'm going to right now. What is it? Or maybe it's just the bonus because of the bonuses to research um, research stations. So we'll have about 4.5 then coming in. So it'll say plus 4, or at least it should say plus 4. Um, Alright, another not Earth. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go ahead and do another alloy foundry okay on consumer goods. We're actually more than okay on consumer goods for the time being. I need to get some alloy foundries up and running. Um, we're going to resettle some pops from Earth to another not Earth, I believe it was. Uh, unemployed robot, unemployed human. This is why I never stop... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I never cease population growth or robot production on planets, even when they are at quote-unquote max population, Anomaly because um, you can use them to continue growing or building more pops, Research and then concluded. just resettle them. So, you need to make sure that you have a good income, a stable uh, energy income, because resettling does cost energy in order to do that. Uh, but it's so worth it. When you get a new colony online, you just mass build a bunch of districts so that you have some base jobs ready. Resettle Research like 15 concluded. to 20 pops to fill in those jobs. And even have a couple of unemployed pops because uh, you're going to have... Um, what's it called? You're going to have some jobs that will open up to, with, with the buildings you're going to construct. So that's fine. Let's do the fusion missiles. And then... Uh, you want to construct those buildings ASAP. Uh, on top of that, you'll start that uh, that new colony will start its own pop growth. Will start ramping up a little bit, so it's super duper handy. Uh, how are we doing on exotic gases? Plus two and plus two moats. That's not bad. Um. Huh. What do I need here? Construction project concluded. Probably just more alloy foundries. We're at plus 99 consumer goods. Okay, so it looks like we've got a colony ship underway. Uh, I actually forget where the hell it's going. Colonizing Rixim 3 Alpha, right. So that's good. Uh, oh, the habitability here is only really, really crappy for humans. That's fine. As soon as the co as soon as the this colony starts getting colonized, we can terraform it. Like as soon as that colony ship begins colonizing, we should be able to terra uh, begin the terraforming process. Okay, so another thing we're going to do here in Rixen is we're going to build a catapult class ion cannon. Ion cannons are pretty awesome. All right, so it's only a few years, in-game years away from uh, us being able to break our truce with the the Prakihiti. 20, 2335, 0307, so Research like two and a half completed. years. They're still rated as pathetic to us, which is um, pleasing. <laughs> Let's get improved Corvette hulls. Right, we've got a big ass transport port fleet with 48 clone armies and two of those Azizian armies ready to rock and roll. Okay, we're gonna revote this guy who is ruling from Earth, vote him back into power. Um, we need to. We should activate a couple uh, ambitions, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and do. We're gonna do will to power for more influence, and we're gonna do scientific revolution. And then we'll also do... Where's the other research speed bonus? Uh, 
research grants. There we go. Boop. Plus 10% research speed. That's what I want to see. And... Uh, I want to reactivate this big dump of energy, unfortunately. I like activating it. I like having it active all the time. Normally. Uh, just not this time. I think metal mega construction. Still can't use that one. That sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and do improved energy initiative as well. Just for fun. More research bonuses are more research bonuses. I'll take them. Okay, so I can't really build any more cruisers. I mean, I could, but I'll put us at about 300 naval capacity. Which I'm not a terribly huge fan of. One, two, three, four, five. But we will have... For sure, we will have a fleet big enough to annihilate it for PPT. Minimal losses, which is what I'm going for. Alright, let's sell a bunch of dark matter. How many alloys? Oh, Jesus. Alloys are expensive right now. God damn. Alright. Also not Earth. You just finished your construction project and you've got four jobs open? Economics mandate fulfilled. 1,000 unity. Alright. Current ruler is back in power. Uh, another not Earth. You can resettle to... Uh, also not Earth. You have four job spots available. Uh, where is it? Another not Earth to also... Oops, not that one. Uh, also not Earth. There we go. And unemployed. Okay, very good. Do we still have stability issues on uh, that one place? I can't remember what it was. Nope, not Earth. Here it is. No, we do not have any more stability issues. That's good. Once we got our amenities back up there to uh, combat that, then I think we were okay. I don't like Systems how many clerks I have on this concluded. planet. That's very aggravating. Going to Jet Moby, solid stream, man. Catch the next MC stream. Yeah, Research dude, that'll be concluded. Thursday, so I hope to see you there, buddy. Thanks, JB. I'll see you next time. Here we go, our final Elgate Insight. 20 months for that. That's fine. So long as we beat them in Bari, that's all I care about. If you're still here, Halo Red Team, join the Discord. We're helpful with questions. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and anybody else watching, um, like I said, our, our Discord, it's a small community, uh, but it's, it's building a little bit more every week, which is pretty awesome. And if you have questions about Stellaris Console Edition, it's not a bad place to come in and, and pose them. Uh, I have been posting links to the official Stellaris Discord as well, so if you want to be a part of that, that's fine too. It's a much bigger community, uh, so there is a much wider uh, a wider array of knowledge available there, which uh, is, you know, it's, it's good, it's helpful. Um, if, you like a, if you like a smaller community, kind of a smaller, more tightly knit community, then you're welcome to join our uh, Discord my personal uh, Discord. Links, the, links are for the, all of those are in the description below. Check them out. Okay, um, what do I want to do here? I don't even know. Let's do an exotic gas room. Does this give us more districts? No, that's just more energy credits from technicians. Unfortunate. Um, we're going to do some precinct houses because I need some forces on this planet. You too, Daz. Yeah. It'd be cool to have you join, uh, Daz. Alright, let's get this person going. Meticulous. Migrating forests. Ooh. Situation log updated. Alright, so study the migrating forests. Let's take a look. Uh, how long does that take? Uh, oh, there it is. Construction project concluded. Eh, 33 months? Yeah, sure. Research concluded. By building two adi additional generator districts, we will complete the mandate and get a bunch of stuff. Unity. Let's get focused, our committers. Okay, nope, not Earth has a lot of jobs available. Nine jobs, so I'm going to reopen them. And we're going to resettle a bunch of people from nope, not Earth. Uh, to... Where were we going in? From not Earth to nope, not Earth. <laughs> Alright. 
Making things simple, I see. Good job, Moby. Uh, one, Building two, th really? oh, fuck's sake, I did it again. Damn it, Moby. Myself. So let's move this uh, freaky. And then on not Earth, we can build. Who was that? I think it was a moat harvesting trap. Yeah, there we go. I'm a little tired, so I'm making really stupid decisions. We can build two moat harvesting traps here. Huh. Okay. So let's go ahead and replace one of these civilian industries then. Concluded. go all right there we go we got another source of dark matter we should have plus four dark matter each month uh, it still says plus three okay that's fine maybe it'll update oh yeah plus four it had to update at the start of the new month we're actually negative on uh, volatile modes right now because of my bugger up right there uh, similarly not Earth, you have five unemployed pops. Jeez, what am I going to do with you? Initial you have no room. No room. Let's go ahead and... Re yeah, let's go ahead and replace you guys with a city district. Uh, definitely not Earth, you guys have unemployment. What is your planet modifier? Oh yeah, migrating forests. Um... Let's go ahead and hmm, let's get rid of the dangerous wildlife. Give us two more districts, but I want to start building some agriculture districts here. And we'll do two city districts, get some clerks. Um, I want to resettle a bunch of people onto this planet that will immediately work food jobs. That way I can get rid of some of these agriculture districts on some worlds where I don't need slash want them. Uh, where I can do, like, mining worlds or some crap instead. Like, here on Earth, I want to get rid of all these agriculture districts that I have here on Earth. And uh, make more mining districts, definitely. Uh, let's see, where else could I do that? Not really anywhere else, unfortunately. Yeah, we, oh, right here. This one would be good. Also not Earth. Get rid of those two agriculture districts for more mining districts. I'll do that right now. Also not Earth, you need... Three more pops. But I can't resettle them from not Earth, which is where my biggest... Oh, man. You know what? Let's just re start replacing these with city districts. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. We did not have good choices for colonies in this portion of space. Really crappy. Okay, we're about a year away from being able to declare war against the Prakikiti yet again. Uh, so, let's go ahead and see. Can we reinforce our fleets? Yes. Boop. There we go. Uh, let's take a look. The Soul Station. Uh, it'll take about half the year to build the rest of those uh, ships. Soylent Green always sorts, sorts out over pops. Yeah, no kidding. Um... About ha uh, well, eh, maybe maybe less than that because the ship build speed is up there. So, about a third of a year, I want to say, to move uh, to get those last bits of cruisers built, and I'm going to start moving our military fleets into this system right now. Actually, no, you guys can just wait. Very good. Soylent Green. <laughs> I'm more of an orange crush kind of person myself. Construction project concluded. Okay. Also not Earth. You are done. All right. So we're going to replace this agriculture district with another city district. Give us some housing. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I need to replace it with a mining district. What am I doing? There we go. That's what I want to see. 
That's better. Construction project complete. We're getting even more and more negative on our energy credits as time goes on, it seems. Isn't Construction it, isn't it glorious? Concluded. All right, there we go. We've got five cruisers, new cruisers just off the assembly lines. We're going to start moving these guys over here. The Seoul Starbase has completed its construction. Beautiful. Wrexham Starbase has completed its construction, so it just finished a, an ion cannon, which is good. Let's build up a few more platforms, and that's it for uh, that's it for alloys. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our edicts. Uh, what we want to do is we want uh, exotic gases as fuel plus 15% sub light speed uh, exotic gases for shield boost we can't do because I don't have enough gases uh, volatile reactive armor yeah we could do that 25, plus 25% armor hit points and then focusing crystals for plus 25% energy weapon damage now let's go ahead and sell some more dark matter uh, can we buy some moats? We sure can. Let's buy some moats. Just for funsies. And where is it? Uh, oh, 174. Damn. That's too much. Can I buy just 10? Yeah. I'll do that. Three times. There. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Giving us the biggest edge that I can possibly give Construction us. Project concluded. Transport Fleet 1 has been fully repaired because apparently they were damaged. Okay, whatever. Alright, we got her. Concluded. Showing my age, yeah. It's all good, man. We're all old here. Australia. Now, you still have a lot of jobs available. So we need to resettle a bunch of pops to Australia. Earth. Uh, Empire Capital. Resettle to Australia. Filthy unemployed scum. Go to Australia, please. Construction project resettle from not Earth. Nope. Let's get rid of that. Not happening. Similarly, not Earth. You have five unemployed pops. Oops. Let's not move that guy. Okay. And Mythar 3 has been terraformed into a continental world. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Uh, what was I going to colonize this for again? Oh, mining districts. There's a lot of them. Okay. Colonize human. Uh, uh, I'm going to name this one. So it's easier to identify. I'm going to name it mine, not earth. There we go. All right, so we're going to have some new colonies coming online so that we can resettle a bunch Research of pops, which is what we want to do. Elgate's Insight gathered. All right, now we should have Elgate activation. Mm, do I want to give up our current research to activate it? Uh, it's very tempting. Uh, let's go ahead and get Durasteel. Sure, why not? Um, yeah, let's get Elgate activation right now. There we go. 18 months for that. Gonna be worth it. The Prince. Analyze it on Earth. Uh, do we have a science ship where we need them to be? Let's get a science ship over here to Rick's Cars Maw. The system contains an system L gate. And we got a construction complete. ship. Actually, no. We're gonna stop. And where's this guy? He's way closer. Let's get him over there. Just in case. I can't remember if it's, a, if it's a science ship or a construction ship to uh, access terminal egress. Don't really matter to me either way, but it's all good. Okay, we're about a month away from being able to declare war on these sons of bitches. And our ships are still a ways away. Oh, man. How long will it take him to get there? Oh, man. 500 days. Ugh. Borders closed. We have allowed you to move about freely on our territory for too long. Today we draw the line. Because it is within the borders of Prikikiti. 
Why are you over there? Ooh, they colonized a second planet up here in Esmike. Not good. We'll have to invade that and destroy it as well. Man, I wish I had a Colossus. It's so much easier. You don't have to worry about invasions or anything. You just zot the planet, boom, concluded. it blows up. Done. <laughs> Easy peasy. Alright, we got our moat harvesting traps back online. Things are looking good. And we're going to replace this agriculture district with another city district. Can't resettle anybody from that planet though because uh what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Pops, buildings, stuff, things. Now the more time goes on, the more our economy goes in the pooper. Concluded. Construction project concluded. Alright, I need this one to come online. Actually, we should be terraforming System this continental world. Concluded. There we go. Energy credits are empty in two months. And that's because I just started the terraforming process, which may have been a bad idea, but fuck it. There we go. I'm actually going to sell uh, a bunch of our consumer goods because we're in the positive on that now, so I don't need to have a bunch stockpiled anymore I really hated I, I knew I was going to regret buying all those consumer goods but whatever it was kind of necessary that time sell that dark matter there's not much use for dark matter until you fight and defeat um, fallen empires and get some fallen empire debris to study that gives you some dark matter technologies like dark matter power plants dark matter shields that kind of crap dark matter thrusters and those require dark matter in order to uh, put them under ships. Ooh, Shazerak Colonel has completed construction of their gateway in the Ibleria system. Oh, these guys have completed construction of their gateway in the Minoc system. Okay, that is slightly worrying, but not that much. I don't like the idea of them having access to gateways because when, if we go to war, they can use that gateway and move troops in behind our um, fortresses, our bastions. These guys completed two gateways? Really? Okay. About a half hour left in the stream. That should be more than enough time to go to war with these sons of bitches. Absolutely annihilate them. You know, all the fun stuff. Replicators has completed construction of their gateway in the Miasim system. Okay. It's right there. Everything's coming up gateways. I gotta admit, gateways are pretty cool and they're super handy to have in your empire. But you gotta put them in the right spot. They gotta be in, the, in a kind of choke point system where you can easily defend it and have either a citadel bastion in that system or one system over, like further inwards, so that they can't just go ravaging through your territory by jumping through that gateway. That's the worst. Okay, our fleets are getting close. Construction project concluded. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't even remember what we did here. I think I just built another city district for housing. Construction project that is exactly concluded. what I did. I have a lot of unemployment on that world, though. It bothers me. Okay, precinct houses. Initial colonization phase completed. There we go. All right, let's get some generator districts online. Desperately need them. And... I only have room for five more districts? Really? That's terrible. 
Let's get this. Let's get this planet a leader. Uh, give him this guy. Um, so with one, two, three, four, five, six generator districts coming online, that's not going to be a hell of a lot. Eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. Uh, 16, 32, 64, like 96 energy, damn. Migrating forest modifier removed. Added migrating forest reserve, okay, good. I much prefer having a Migrating Forest Reserve. Durasteel. Beautiful. Wanted that. Ooh, Neutronium. Hello, Neutronium. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. 20 months for that, so that's a ways. Alright, next month we are ready for Elgate activation. This could really fuck us. Because I have our fleet ready to go attack the Prakikiti. Uh, if I open this Elgate and it is the Grey Tempest, then we are fucked. We are royally fucked. Research concluded. Prepare the Situation project. Activate the Elgate. Alright, how do we do this? Uh, we have a science ship in the... Oh, shit! Oh, no! It began as a subtle shift in Tijel behavior. Scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels visiting ancient ruined worlds, refusing all ha all hails, excuse me, and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission unknown until now. So, yeah, they have awakened. The Tijel regulators can now use the subjugation cast spell against us. Great. And the really terrible thing is they're right fucking next to us. Ugh. This could not get any better. Alright, what's here in Havon Cheer? Anomaly found. Oh yeah, it's the, uh... Hey, it's the processing plant. Cool. I don't come across that very much in the regular game anymore. These should be the Tijel regulators now. It'll update. Eventually. Okay, it looks like our fleets are in position. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get them to... Hang on. Uh, so let's get the battlers. You guys can go ahead and take point. Move up to here. The cruisers, I don't want you taking point. You're going to follow them. Here we go. Got our armies following them so we can invade and conquer these planets. They only have the two. So if we take care of them, then all said and done. We should... Well, we won't, but we should win Zivor. Oh, hello. Hey! The PX Goddard has located the source of the movement in the upper atmosphere of Baldurk 1. Surprisingly, there was no ship hidden in the clouds, but rather a young space amoeba. Its mother nowhere to be seen. We're gonna... we're gonna keep it. Because why not? Hello. It's Bubbles! We got Bubbles, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'm going to keep this science ship hanging out back here. Um, because I don't want the Amoeba Juvenile to uh, get lost from chasing this guy around too much. So I'm just going to set him to set her to uh, follow him. Keep doing that. So usually I set her to follow a military fleet, but I don't have any anywhere close to there. Um, and uh, I'll just have them hang out in that system for a little bit until she matures. And then I'll try to get her out of there. Alright, here we go. Um, I, 
think I'll wait things. No, you know what? You know what? We're going to... If we're going to royally fuck things up, we might as well go all in. We've got um, an Awakened Empire right next to us. We're opening the L Gate, so who knows what could happen. And we're war declaring war against the Prakikiti, motherfucker. When I go in, I go all in. Let's do this, bitches. Prepare thy anus. At last, this war will be the beginning of the a end for you. Uh, who just insulted me? The Arachnids. Oh, that hurts my feelings. Our mental network is vast, giving us access to thoughts and ideas from every corner of our empire. But not a single entity has ever seen anything that would lend merit to your tragic existence. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, scientist something 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 has died. That's too bad. Uh, let's put a new scientist in there. Let's do a field manipulation expert. Sure, why not? Fuck it. Alright, we are in battle. Bring them down, Legolas. Oh, there goes the perdition beams. They just annihilated that cruiser. That was awesome. Okay. Special project concluded. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's great. I love it. The Grey Tempest. Our technicians managed to lift the lockdown from the L-Gate near Rixikar's Maw, but as soon as a permanent link was established to the L-Cluster, a massive incoming subspace surge was detected. We were able to restrict this potential invasion force from using our gate while still retaining access for ourselves. Unfortunately, the incoming surge was diverted to the other L-Gates in the galaxy. Strange vessels consisting of nanites are pouring through these now fully active gates, attacking everything in sight. All attempts to communicate with these machines have failed. In the wake of their passage through the L-Gates, we have detected a repeating subspace transmission emanating from the L-Cluster. Put the message on screen. Decoding repeating automated subspace transmission, establishing translation matrix, alert, matrix is heavily corrupted, attempting reconstitution of message fragments, three message fragments partially recovered, access fragment one, Decoding Fragment 1. We are the unintelligible architects of the Galactic Gateway Network. If you are receiving this transmission, then we can only unintelligible that we are not too late. Perhaps one of our message buoys somehow slipped past the unintelligible and escaped the cluster before it was closed off. Do not repeat. Do not restore access to the dormant gateway in our star cluster. Under no circumstances must a stable connection be formed between the unintelligible and the galaxy at large. For the sake of all civilization, our cluster has to remain under permanent quarantine. Access Fragment 2. In an act that will inevitably doom our civilization, we have deliberately isolated our home cluster to prevent the spread of the Nardisha, the Grey Tempest. These self-replicating nanomachines were instrumental in the construction of our gateway network, but when their unintelligible had concluded, we found that they would no longer accept our commands. Through a hidden back door, our unintelligible managed to recall the machines to our home cluster, but the security hole has since been plugged. When they started harvesting our planets from materials, we knew it was only a matter of time before... Access Fragment 3. Decoding Fragment 3. The main unintelligible facility is the key. All of their unintelligible are routed through its subspace array, and without it they cannot function. Unfortunately, all of our attempts to disable it have failed, and we can no longer muster the forces unintelligible another assault. If the quarantine of our cluster has failed, you must destroy this facility. As long as it remains unintelligible, the Grey Tempest will continue to surge unabated throughout the galaxy. We... we are truly sorry for unleashing this horror. In our hubris, we... And that's it. End communications. Why am I not surprised? Just when things couldn't get any better, we get the Grey Tempest. At the same time as a fallen empire awakens... And we Research declare war concluded. to System eliminate the Prakikiti from the galaxy once and for all. Uh, let's take subterranean colonization. Sure. All right, we got a planetary invasion underway. Let's see what's going on here. Hello there. Your six defense armies? <laughs> they won't stand a chance. I might lose a disengaged army, though. That's pretty crazy. 
To be fair, though, um, so what was I looking for? Defense armies are actually kind of stronger than assault armies. Well, clone armies, even. But then again, that's why we have a bunch of spares. And by a bunch, I mean a bunch. And what's happening? There we go. Two armies gone. Now we just got this one. Raiding fleet destroyed. The Shantari fleet that vowed to raid our space has been destroyed as a result of a fleet action in the terminal egress system. No survivors have been reported found amongst the debris. So they used the L gate Planetary to get to terminal egress and ran into the, a Grey Tempest fleet, no doubt. And got absolutely obliterated. All right. Planetary invasion successful. The planet of Gish has been successfully invaded. So now we're going to take the transport fleet and get them to follow the battlers once again. And now we take the battlers. And they need to continue all the way up to here. Oh, that's Research the long way. We don't want them to do that. Go here. What are you doing? You really want to take us on? Oh, what do we got? Who opened there? The Tijel Regulators. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Our borders are open to you again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Subterranean colonization. All done. Let's go ahead and grab... Um, Admiralty Support Staff would be pretty decent to increase our fleet command limit, but Interstellar Expansion would be nice. Let's grab Interstellar Economics just to get rid of this technology. Spaceports to Need our fleets to hurry up. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's these guys. Bring it on, motherfuckers. Oh, I didn't build any platforms here. Ugh, I feel really dumb now. We should be able to take them out because every time, like, the station has all of its guns intact until it gets taken down. But every time they lose a ship, they lose weapons. They lose, they lose power. So we should have this in the bag. Especially considering we still have nearly 40,000 hit points for them to go through. He's not happening, man. At the very least, I just hope that we get to destroy that damn cruiser wherever it is. I can't even see it. I see their destroyers. No way. Okay. Oh, he brought five more cruisers. Shit, I didn't even see that part. Whoops. Ah, oh, man, we would have totally had that. All right, well, you know what? You guys go ahead and dick around back there. I am going to go destroy your worlds. Man, I wish I had a Colossus. 17,000 fleet power. Construction project Check this complete. out. Some perdition beams, some tachyon lances, and this citadel goes bye-bye. Boom, there's a perdition beam. Oh yeah, it's already down to hull points. Zap. Boom. It's gone. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Didn't lose a single ship. Alright, battlers. You know what to do. Progress to their home planet. Destroy them. Ooh, rising unemployment on similarly, not Earth. I don't care. Oh man, I did not change this at all. Oh god, that's gross. Bunch of hangar bays? I don't want that. Gun batteries. It's awful. And we're gonna change this to a target uplink pooper. There we go. Alright, we've got about 15 minutes left in the stream. Then I'm gonna have to call it a night. Fully fledged! 
The amoeba juvenile that joined her fleet some time ago appears to have reached full maturity. Now an impressive adult, she is no less loyal to the ships that gave her a new home when she was stranded on Baldurk 1. Her time spent with the fleet appears to have encouraged adaptive behaviors not typically found in wild space amoebas, making her a more formidable presence on the battlefield than others of her kind. Across Planet Express, her image has become something of a mascot for the delivery service spirit. Only one question remains. What should we name her? Uh, duh, Bubbles. <laughs> I do believe I said this, that that is the only viable answer. Let's keep her on passive. I don't want her actively finding enemies. Following PX Goddard. Where is that? There, here it is. Are you set to evasive? Yes, you are. Alright, well, carry on exploring. She can probably provide you with some protection. Maybe. Uh, let's have her go this way, then back this way, then over here. That's what I want to do. Research concluded. Actually, if I tell her to do that... Does she follow that path? Yes, she does. Good. Right, research concluded. Alright, Galactic Markets for the Galactic Stock Exchange. We'll grab that. Oh, hello, fleet! What is that? Oh my god, it's a Great Tempest fleet. Holy shit. Lost a cruiser. That Research sucks. Concluded. I'm not going to worry about reinforcing it. Huh. Where did they come from? Oh, that would have been from the Gindor Black Hole right here. There's an L gate. Huh. Crazy. Yeah, the, the Great Tempest, like, they have high fleet power ratings, but the only reason they're terribly strong is because they also get, like, every single one of their fleets is only, like, four ships, but they have one Titan-esque kind of ship because it has a perdition beam that zots one of your ships from across the system. Uh, and all of their ships have a shit ton of strike craft. It's insane. Also not Earth Generator World. Why are you experiencing housing problems? Hmm. Alright. Let's do uh, some luxury residence. And I think... Would I be able to get rid of some entertainer jobs? I don't know. System survey concluded. Oh, we lost the Star Fortress, too? Wow, that was unexpected. Okay, I didn't build enough defense platforms there. That's fine. Not a big deal. We got bigger fish to fry. You sons of bitches think you're going to escape and set up a colony somewhere else or some bullshit? Think again. All right, we've got this place is back online. What the hell did they build here? Oh, it's a shipyard place. Sweet. Research concluded. Research concluded. Neutronium materials. Uh, let's go ahead and grab advanced Corvette holes. Sure. What did these guys build here? They have a Titan and a Colossus assembly yard. Ooh, scary. Okay. A mothership. Oh, a Great Tempest mothership just showed up out of nowhere, apparently. That's fine. Okay, so now we can take our armies and invade here again. Land armies, motherfucker. Probably not going to win the war from this. I much prefer having a Colossus because when you have a Colossus, a World Cracker, and you just you just blast their planets into dust, and they have no planets left, it's like boom, you win. I much prefer that. I don't think the same thing will happen if we successfully invade and occupy their worlds. At least I don't think so, because it hasn't the last couple times. Maybe I was doing something wrong. Who knows? 
planetary incursion initiative successful. Oh, yes. End of the Prakiki tea. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. Hmm. I'll take it. All right. Now I need to... There we go. Construction project concluded. I don't really care for this for this colony. How do I get pops off of it? Let's uh, move some guys to definitely not Earth. There we go. Kohoma. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I just resettled my last couple, the last couple pops on that planet, and boom, it's gone. All right, we need the battlers and the cruisers. To get back to Rixakar's Maw immediately, we need to defend our space. I guess. Actually, I'll move them back to Siplim for now. Sturil. This is where I had a trade station, if I remember correctly. And Easter Mike, I don't care for this station, so uh, you can get downgraded and dismantled. GTFO. All right, now. I want to get those two systems up there. Hell yeah, look at all those crystals. Mm -hmm. I like me some crystals. Build a star base there. Build a star base there. Uh, what else do we have here? Giselian, I don't care. Let's uh, dismantle. Uh, Sturil, you were. Receiving transmission. I did not give you hangar bays. Oh, wait, no, no, I did. Never mind. Got batteries. Batteries galore. Yes, please. And then we can upgrade to... Oops, I did not mean to do that. Damn it, damn it, Moby. I'm getting sleepy. Doing dumb things. Alright, then we upgrade to a Citadel. Let's get a few of these first. There we go. Now we upgrade to a Citadel. Uh, receiving transmission, hey? Oh, our admiral died. Son of a bitch. Let's recruit a new leader. Uh, we got cautious, increased ship weapons range. That's actually really, really, really good. Um, let's take that guy. And what's this? Please accept this gift as a token of Shazerac goodwill towards the Planet Ex Express. <gasps> You're just giving us shit? Okay, thanks, dude. You're all right in my books. <laughs> all right, I want the dairy system because there's a bunch of gases there. Damn, there's a lot of systems with strategic resources that I lost because of the Prakiki T. I'm so glad we annihilated those sons of bitches. Let's go ahead and build a star base here. Uh, Birim, do I want this planet? Receiving planet transmission. Gish. What's here? Oh my god. Civilian replica complexes. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, research labs are here. Alloy foundries. We got some moat harvesting traps. Paradise domes. Jesus, what did this person do here? All right. Um, planetary features. A dust desert. Luxuries distributed. Robot assembly ceased. Let's resume robot assembly, please. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, uh, let's go ahead and replace these with alloy foundries. Oops, no, not research complexes, damn it. And da, 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 da. Actually, I'll just leave them be. I don't care. Whatever. Uh, resource silos. Why do you have resource silos? Definitely replacing that. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll replace these, uh, Research labs. There's another planet for research. I'm totally okay with that. Alright, um... This would actually be a pretty decent generator world. However, we have a severe problem. We need to replace an agriculture district with a city district. We need to replace a mining district with a city district. Get some more housing online here. Shit's looking crazy right now. Shazerac Colonel! Yeah, I'll take that uh, non-aggression pact. I'm totally down. 
seeing as how I'm not really in the position to be uh, fighting you or anything like that. Okay. All right, stuff's looking good. We beat back the Prakikiti once and for all. They will no longer be an issue. Now we have to Research deal with the concluded. Gray Tempest. Dun dun dun. Can I get five more of those? Not yet. Advanced Corvette Hulls, very good. Let's go ahead and do... Eh, advanced Destroyer Hulls. Sure, why not? Can I reinforce my fleet now? Yep. Let's do that. Construction project concluded. I need these guys to go get repaired. Oops. And repaired and upgraded now that I think about it. Hey, it's not Earth. Okay, cool. We're all done there, so let's go ahead and resettle some people. Definitely not Earth. You need some... Why do you have unemployment here? Oh, because I accidentally resettled two specialists when there's nothing to work on. As a specialist, son of a bitch. I screwed that up. Well, let's give him a robot assembly plan, shall we? And what else? What else? Australia, penal colony. You guys could use some more civilian industries. And hey, it's not Earth. That's the place that I want to need to move some people to. Um, I can't move them from here, though. Huh. Another not Earth. Let's build that alloy foundry, build two more city districts, and then Earth. Uh, let's go ahead and start replacing some of these with city districts. Some of these uh, other places. Nope, not Earth. Rural world. Uh, let's go ahead and do an exotic gas refinery here because I want to upgrade this to an energy nexus. Not the best place for some... Uh, for a, for a generator-focused world, because there's not a lot of generator districts. Usually when I try to focus a planet on a specific basic resource, I'm looking for uh, at least like six or seven of a particular type of district. Um, especially for organic empires. Machine empires, it's a lot easier because when you construct um, a food processing plant, a mineral purification plant, or an energy grid, it increases the number of Research districts on included. that planet for that particular resource. But only for machine empires. That's part of the reason machine empires are so goddamn powerful. Um, let's get interstellar expansion again. System survey concluded. System survey concluded. Don't sound so happy about it, brochacho. Alien scum. Exactly, Dazzer. You know what's up. Uh, so what's going on here? Is this a shipyard? Project oh, it's an anchorage. Minbari refugees arrive. A battered fleet of small civilian vessels carrying Minbari fleeing from the Minbari Federation have arrived in our space. After we supplied them with food and provided medical attention to their wounded, the refugees were allowed to settle on not Earth. These ragged and frightened refugees are fleeing the ravages of the Grey Tempest in Minbari space. They just barely managed to escape their home planet of Kadmana Mog before the Saigon onslaught reached it, leaving most of their personal possessions behind on the doomed world. They are welcome here. Oh man, yeah, the Minbari is kind of getting pooped on. Klagian refugees arrive. A battered fleet of small civilian vessels carrying Klagian fleeing from the Minbari Federation have arrived in our space. Are they in a war? I don't think so. But the Great Tempest is really going to tear shit up for a little bit here, I think. Like, look, here's a, here's a Tempest Shoal fleet right over here. Bombing the crap out of this planet. So yeah, Grey Tempest fleets, they tend to only have like three, four ships most of the time. And it's this large mothership that is the problem. Um, because they have so many freaking strike craft. That's part of the reason they have such a high uh, fleet power rating. But the, uh, the big thing is this nanite mothership with this energy arc. 
It does anywhere between 1 to 9999 damage. And it has 200 range, which is... I'm pretty sure that's longer. I don't know. No, Perdition Beams have 250, I do believe. Um, but yeah, it's crazy huge damage. Alright, more refugees arriving. Construction project concluded. Okay. So what's going on here? Let's go ahead and build that planetary administration. Um, resettle some pops to complete. definitely not Earth. Let's uh, max out the agriculture districts, shall we? And then we can max out the city Science districts. Sustaining damage. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. They have come through Rixakar's Maw. That is very, very bad. Uh, the battlers. How far away are these guys? They're not even going the right direction. That's just fantastic. Construction project concluded. Shazerat Colonel completed a gateway. Replicators completed a gateway. Fabulous. We've got more refugees that just arrived on Australia. Okay, well, uh, things took a super duper interesting turn in that I would have no other way. I'm going to save the game. It's been two hours. I apologize for the late start, but a lot of cool stuff has happened. Uh, this Planet Express save game is turning out to be one of the more interesting ones from this Research year, and I quite included. like it. I had a full feeling that it's like, oh man, we just got the... We just got the Fallen Empire to awaken for one... Uh, and then it's like, well, I'm also going to go to declare war against the Prakikiti, so uh, bad things come in threes. Let's go ahead and open the Elgate and release the Great Tempest or the Eldrakes or whatever. So whatever bad shit's going to come out of there. Let's just do that right now and get it over with. <laughs> and sure as shit, look at what we're dealing with. It's all good, though. It's all in the name of fun. This is what makes Stellaris replayable. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's it for tonight. Big thank you to everybody who came by to watch the stream. Um, Halo Red Team, Dazzer, JB, always good to see you guys. I hope to see you again in another stream for Stellaris Console Edition. Uh, also, do be aware that I stream four times a week, and I stream other games as well. So come on by. You can check out uh, the other games that I'm playing. Uh, I'll be back Thursday with uh, Part 2 of Massive Chalice. I'm hoping to finish that. Uh, particular playthrough probably about in like you know two or three weeks total so before the end of november then we can move on to battle stations pacific and i believe detroit become human is after that uh, on the ps4 but uh anyways big thank you to everybody who came by to watch me playing this live those of you watching this on youtube thank you very much for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up that really helps me out and subscribe to the channel click the bell icon so you're notified when i upload new videos i upload at least once a week since i stream this once a week and i tend to upload uh videos more often once i get some uh non-stream videos uh made ready for you trying to teach other people how to play the game how to learn what to do uh bring more people on board uh, with downloading and purchasing this awesome game that is stellaris console edition uh and this replayability and uh there's just so much cool stuff you can do um i also highly recommend checking out the dlc i think i'm going to do a buyer's guide on what dlc you will want um probably early next year once we get like Megacorp and Lithoids, I think would be a good time to do it uh, because I can't really say for certain, uh, you know, whether I feel Megacorp is worth it or not, not until it comes out. I know what Megacorp brings, but until I try it out for myself and see how it uh, meshes with the rest of the game or interacts with the rest of the game, I should say, or what it brings to the game on, on the whole, um, I can't really say for certain. If I make a video about that now, it'll be a little bit biased. <laughs> Anyways, um, so those of you watching this on YouTube, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find a link to my Twitch channel, which I stream this off of. Come on by and watch me playing live. I play all sorts of different games throughout the week. Solaris Console Edition is typically on Tuesday nights, uh, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come on by and talk with me whilst I am playing live. You'll also find a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow there. I post important announcements all the time. Last but not least, a link to my own personal Discord that I was talking about earlier. Uh, a couple of the people who were here 
watching the live stream. They're part of it. I know JB is in the Discord. Uh, so, you know, the more members we get, the bigger the community grows. And it's uh, pretty cool to see that happening. Thanks, Dazzer. Uh, good to see you, buddy. Hope, hopefully I'll see you for another stream later this week for Ma Massive Chalice or maybe the other Stellaris console edition stream next week there. So you take care. Halo Red Team, I hope to see you in the Discord as well, buddy. Uh, that's it for me tonight. I'll be back Thursday with some more Massive Chalice. And uh, the following Tuesday... Uh, actually, the following week, um, I'm on holidays until uh, Tuesday, November... Shit, I forget what the day is. Today's the 3rd, so it's like the 17th, I think. So I'm actually off all next week, uh, which is right around the Remembrance Day holiday. So that should give me plenty of time to play uh, some games just to relax a bit. But I'm also, I also should have some time to uh, get at least like two or three videos done, I think. It should be pretty awesome. All right, enough babbling. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.